Okay guys, as you can tell, it's a rainy afternoon, which means we can't really work on the F-150, which I promise there is progress being done on that. So I figured in about oh, a week and two days, I have a lawnmower race to go to. This is my lawnmower. It's pretty stock. It's, a, it's not going to fare well. It's a Craftsman. Uh, what is it? Typical, what was that? 50 inch cut. Has a Kohler 22 horsepower V10 engine on it. Um, I raced it last time. I put a bumper on here. That's about all I did. Uh, ended up coming home with the hood off. The bumper actually stopped my turning radius or blocked it. Um, before that, I did put a new fuel filter, new oil, new plugs in it. It ran great. It just, uh, just wasn't fast enough. So. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to fix that. We're going to make this thing fast. And one of the problems I had is uh, I didn't have enough traction. So to fix that, uh, we're going to be throwing on some old quad tires here, right on the back. So uh, stick along and let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm sure as you guys can see here, when I start to turn here, ooh, we're hitting our bumper. Yeah, that's no bueno. So, we're gonna have to make a new bumper for this thing, we're gonna have to lose the mower deck, and we're gonna have to make this thing faster. Okay, let's lose this mower deck here. Okay, more decks off. It's bound to lighten the load a little bit. I mean, I had it off last race, but it's just something you gotta do. So, now uh, I wanna jack this thing up and uh, we're gonna take a look at that belt size, or not the belt size, the pulley size. See if we can increase that off the motor at all. Maybe decrease it in the back a little bit, but we'll see what, what it looks like underneath.
Okay guys, I know that was a very painstaking thing to have to watch through, but we finally got it jacked up. I think we'll get underneath, take a look at the pulleys, maybe get them off, hopefully run in tomorrow, we'll grab the bigger one that will take up most of that area in there. We'll see, I'll have to grab the belt too. But uh, let's see if we can get in there and take a look at these pulleys. Okay, let's take a look under this thing. First thing, don't be silly. Make sure you got some kind of wheel trucks in here. I got the ramps under the front. And just so you guys believe me, we got chucks under the back wheels. We don't want to take any risks here and miss the race because uh, we are being silly. So let's get underneath. Oh. Okay, we got something to address there. Might just be water. But other than that, we're looking good. Oh, it's right in our face. Okay, so here's our pulleys. We're on this top one. Oh no, we're up there. Okay, I see. Got a little bit of grease. Uh oh, there's our oil drain. Uh, something coming from up there. We're gonna have to dive into this a little bit. I think we're gonna have to take this one off and just see what's going on underneath. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what we're doing here. We gotta start with taking this bottom pulley off. Oh, I'm gonna guess maybe a half inch. Nice. Okay. That was a lot easier than I thought. Okay. Huh. That was way easier than I thought. Uh, how do we take this thing off? Uh, this is how it's going to let it hang here. Right back, I gotta grab something to hold it up. Okay, now I got that out of the way. on this situation. Tensioner. Looks like it just has tension on it. Okay, well, I think next order of business is to somehow release this belt. I'll bring in here and show you how this belt is running because it is actually kind of interesting. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this. So the belt runs parallel to the ground right there, but then turns and then is perpendicular to the ground back there. So that's interesting. Ooh. I see a hydraulic filter that we probably should change and maybe check the level on. I'm gonna clean that up back there so it stays cool. So next thing I'm gonna do is work on finding how to release the tension on this belt. I'll come back when I find that. Okay, we're on the right side of the tractor here, looking at it underneath. If you watch these two belts right here, I'm gonna hit this brake pedal. Boom, releases tension on our belt right here. Man, that is so nifty and easy. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this belt off and then we're gonna look at taking this pulley off 
and seeing what we can upgrade it to. So I'll be back when I get that. Okay guys, so I literally as soon as I took this belt off the pulley, it just dropped right out. So that's pretty nifty. Now I just gotta measure and see how much room and how much bigger of a pulley I can get to make this thing a little bit bigger and better. Okay guys, so I figured out what I can do. There's that tensioner pulley back here. That's just a tensioner pulley. I really don't need it for anything. It moves and drives without it, I tested it. So I can take this guy, pretty big, big as I need him to be. Um, and then while also doing that, I figured out my steering, I don't know if you guys can see this, but my steering, it's got a lot of play. So I gotta do something with that. I don't know if it's gonna be a temporary fix, but I gotta get that figured out or that's not gonna last very long. But other than that, that's some great news. So I can do everything I need to without that tensioner pulley in there. I'm gonna do some kind of, actually I think I'm okay. Sweet, I'm just gonna take this pulley in and get it. I think as big as I can go. No, not too big. I don't wanna get this too wound up. But uh, I'll come back when I got the new pulley. Okay guys, I'm back from the store. This is a four and a half inch pulley. Then I'm gonna upgrade it to a six and a half inch pulley. Actually, this might be a better shot. Yeah, just a little bit of an increase. But our problem is, yeah, let me flip the camera and I'll show you. Okay, so here's the problem. I don't know if you can see this piece and there's a little tab here. When I index this and I push up, we hit that piece. So I'm gonna take that off real quick and it might clear that, but we'll see. So I'll set you up so you can see it. Okay guys, it might be a good idea to always check the entire thing of what you're grinding before you actually grind and cut something off because it could be as simple as uh, taking off one bolt and uh, the whole plate comes down. So yeah, that would have saved a little bit of time and work, but hey, you live and you learn. Uh, next, we will fit up this pulley and uh, see how it looks. Okay, I fit up the pulley. It fits really nice. Nothing hits it, or at least it hits a big one. So with the small one, I took a paint marker and I marked where it sits on the shaft here. Now I'm going to take the grinder and I've already started a little bit, but I'm going to try to grind at this weld around here and hopefully this pulley just pops right off. I will keep you guys updated when I get it off. Okay. I know to people who weld for a living, this will offend you. But for a first time stick welder, I'm pretty proud of it. Not, I didn't weld the bottom side or anything. But first time uh, messing with, I actually had to wire up and put a new plug to fit my 220 outlet and mess with settings. I think I did pretty good. I had it way too high the first time, melted right through this pulley and all this stuff. But uh, I'm not too worried. And then I always do the drop test. Yep. Hold. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna put it up, make sure that it runs level. If it runs level, I'll leave it intact because I can think and put the belt in without having to take this all down and then uh, I'll see about doing something with that rear end um, I might just see how fast it goes now because I really don't want to overpower that hydrostatic rear end I've heard some bad things about it so I want to kind of keep it safe for it because I don't really want to have to replace the rear end anytime soon definitely need to do a oil change or a fluid change on it in the rear but uh for now let's get this pulley in and see what it does or how it looks Okay guys, I got the pulley on, I got the clutch and everything for the, if you're going to run like a deck and everything, I got that back on. Um, I'm going to start it up here and we'll see if it vibrates, if it's level, um, if it's too off balance or if I got to do some additional stuff, but I'm hope, fingers crossed, it'll do pretty good.
with that top pulley. That's what we did and it's looking really good. I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, so this is the belt I got. I took my old belt off and it measured to be 76. So with a two inch increase in pulley, I just got it with a two inch increase in belt size. Hopefully that's right. And I don't have to do a bunch of taking back and matching up, but uh, I feel like this is a good starting point. So I'll come back once I got this on and maybe we can go test and see how fast it is. Okay, as you can see, we got the belt on, ran back, ran through all of our clutches and everything. And we're all able to keep it so we can still mow with it if we need to. So that's pretty cool. So now we get to test and see how fast it goes. As you can see, we gotta make some improvements. Biggest thing, we gotta take this tire chain off because it keeps slapping the back of my uh, fender there and that's the most annoying sound ever. But other than that, this thing is cruising. I'm gonna see if I can get a video with uh, miles per hour while I'm driving it, but you can definitely tell it's a lot faster. <laughs> 